I'm Nora Volkov. I'm director of the National Institute on Drug Abuse at the NIH. And drug addiction could happen to you. What turns people to drugs? And that's a very uh, interesting question because there are multiple factors that determine it. At the essence, it has to do with the fact that our brain is hardwired to respond to pleasure, particularly when it is immediate and what we call immediate reward. And when someone takes a drug, it is very, very rewarding. So biologically, we have the vulnerability to seek rewards and therefore drugs can be very appealing. Now, not everybody seeks them, and why is that so? Well, it depends on what are your alternatives. So if you have alternative choices with other rewards, you are much less likely to go for drugs than if the only available reward that you have is the drug. And that's where culture and social systems play such an important role, and why we may see differences on why people that may be coming from lower economical classes may be at higher risk because they may have less behavioral alternatives for reward and therefore they may fall into drug taking. Having said that, one should not become complacent because the reality is that addiction does not discriminate and people can become addicted no matter from what educational um, achievement you have or socioeconomic or what your ethnicity. No one is completely invulnerable to it. And we know, for example, that genes are important. We know that uh, the age at which you start taking the drugs are also important. The younger you experiment with drugs, the greater the likelihood that you become addicted. And we also know that genes are very, very important. Some people have family histories of, um, of addiction, and they very likely may have inherited those genes that make them more vulnerable. So we have all of these confluence of factors playing a role on determining who will take the drug, those that may be also based on personality, risk seekers, novelty seeking. Those individuals may be more likely to want to see, well, what does it feel to take a drug? And then you have those individuals, for example, that may be taking the drug as a way of automedicate themselves. They just don't feel good. They may be depressed. They may not be able to uh, pay attention. So they may medicate by taking drugs. And finally, of course, you have the, the regular use of a drug as a, as a social lubricant, where you put alcohol for people to have a good time, or kids may be using psych psychoactive medications, pain medications, stimulants, to have fun. And those that may have in that interaction of you get the exposure and then you have the vulnerability, and those are the ones that go then into trajectories of repeated drug use and unfortunately in some of them eventually addiction.